Hello everybody, welcome back to Regulator Talk. I'm your host as always, Bolt. Uh, today we got a special guest also recurring from the first episode where we had a developer from Star Wars Legion Studios. It's a mod that brings Star Wars to Arma 3 in a new way never seen before. Uh, we also got another developer here today and his name is Smig. How you doing my friend? You good about yourself? I'm pretty good, pretty good. So, do you want to tell the people a bit about what you do here at uh, Star Wars Legion Studios? I know some people really have no clue what you do. Um, you're kind of listed as you know community manager and whatnot. So, uh, you start just start from there with what you do right now. Uh, well, overall, I mean, I oversee the community. It's uh, really uh, there's not much else besides that. To be honest, uh, I do some texturing once in a while. Part of the head dev team, so I make important decisions and mm -hmm. i manage the discord most that's about it what would you say your uh, top three putting you on the spot top three hardest decisions you've had to make so far number one is definitely leaving uh, the rasputin uh discord that was a kind of a, an annoying one to deal with um don't have any problems making any decisions it's pretty pretty much it though mm-hmm Let's let's start right there on the uh, Rasputin Discord thing. I think there's definitely a little bit of a story we can tell there. Uh, it's mostly from, you know, your side and my side, um, since Corvus isn't here. But there was a little situation that occurred. I'm not going to, you know, throw it under the bus and say, hey, you know, this didn't happen. I'm going to be p completely honest with the case. Um... And so our good friend was uh, leaking some conversations, and he was uh, the creator, Rasputin was the creator, or Dutch, some people may know him in the 212th, um, creator of the Discord, and kind of one of the beginning catalysts of what got the whole uh, alternative to swap scene kind of started or revived, I should say, because it was building up for a while, and then it kind of just came to a big blow up when it was like, all right, we can, we got helmets, now let's get armor, you know, and then eventually we'll get into it later, but, you know, weapons and vehicles and so much more. Well, in that case, he was leaking stuff to uh, people that shouldn't have certain information if they're not part of the mod team, and that's kind of where, uh, I guess we had a little branch off at that point where you have some people working on, you know, their own unit mods and it's always another hassle of having to go down with someone else's mod and whatnot. And I think collectively you and I can both agree that the key feature of Star Wars Legion Studios, unlike Swap, I don't want to dog on Swap too much uh, for this episode, is that you want to be on Steam. You want to be on the Steam Workshop because it's an instant turnoff, as I've said before, being on you know VK or whatever tiny URL website you know shady looking website to some people so what's your what's your take on the whole matter there on i mean back to, studios? The, to the steam thing it's um mm -hmm. it's not that we don't want to we don't care if we're on steam or not we couldn't care less and, yeah yeah being on steam i'm sorry that was a horrible voice crack but yeah being on That's steam right. is you know the massive help you know it gets a lot more exposure to your mod uh, same thing with, you know, YouTubers, that kind of stuff, noticing it on the Steam Workshop. I mean, overall, it's more along the lines of we want to be legal instead of, you know, having Disney throw a few DMCAs and try to bring us to court. Mm -hmm. Especially have because all of us are, I would say, 90%, 95% of uh, the development team is American-based. Um, or North, 90%? North American I'd say... Based. I'd say about eighty percent because we do have yeah. we have clock of course we have um, Kal El we have other people so yeah no Cal's in America is he he's in America I didn't, um, I didn't know that yeah, yeah. No, but no we've know. got people like uh, we've got people like clock uh, we've got uh, some others like Black Shadow is uh, mm -hmm. foreign as well a couple UK based guys yeah yeah. I definitely think from a strategic standpoint, you know, you'd want to be on Workshop, though, um, just to really get as much exposure as possible. It's a big thing right there. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, the Rasputin thing, I mean, most of it's just old news at this point. Long story short is he took pictures of things that he wasn't supposed to take pictures of and shared them. That's, that's about it. Mm-hmm. I honestly don't remember who it was, too, to be honest with her, since it was so long ago. But It was a 501st thing or something. Yeah, which, uh... people just didn't take too kindly to it. They kind of got pissed off, and Corvus kind of made the decision to jump over. Mm-hmm. I think long term, you know, it was for the best. I think that, you know, it was like a driving force. Yeah, long term, it was for the best. And obviously, the inner dev team knows, or the inner inner dev team really knows a bit more than the dev team does. Um, so there was something that was definitely there. I'm not mm-hmm. at liberty to discuss it whatsoever right now with anyone, really. Mm-hmm. Um, was for the very way long term, it was a lot better. Mm-hmm. So. So you mentioned the file first a little bit. Let's go to a little segue. And uh, the file first is creating their own mod, their own um, replacement to swap. And I think that's a interesting thing to talk about how we all had one mod, which was swap, Star's Opposition. And we kind of see how that's panned out and whatnot. Um, we'll definitely, I'll personally get more into that later, but, uh, just to keep it, you know, short, uh, basically things have blown up and there's a bunch of small little dev teams like Stars, Legion Studios, the 212th, and now 501st, and who knows else in between, uh, that is making Star Wars mods trying to be the standalone. Um, what's your take on all these little sub mods, uh, wanting to become their own full-fledged, you know, Star Wars replacement whether it be just for their units or the greater community altogether. I mean, the way I look at it personally is, you know, if if they want to work with us, we're more than happy to work with us. We welcome challenge because it makes us better. It makes us have to put out something better than what they do just so, you know, we stay on top. You know, it's the same thing with business, really. Like, that's how you got to look at it, kind of. You're providing a service, and you have to be the best at providing the service if you want to stay, you know, relevant or in business, really get outclassed in everything we do there's no point in continuing it on because someone else is doing it better than us and if we agree with it then we'll keep following them we'll say hey you guys are doing a good job we're gonna you know we're gonna shut down i guess i always believe you know competition's really good whether it be you know the whole unit competition whatnot uh it does get a little touchy here and there when the drama gets really you know tangled it, it, and whatnot but yeah it's this it's the exact same thing with the dev teams um mm-hmm might not think we get along well with dev teams but i mean it just you know if we like you guys and we don't hate you guys for some reason something then you know we're more than happy to work with you guys and chill you know we're happy to collaborate we're happy to merge even if you guys really want to um from a player standpoint i really like how everything is kind of like different pieces of the puzzle you know put together not only with just armor mods in general in a lot of cases, um, for this one instance here, you know, SWLS is very heavily armor based currently. Armor, uh, whether it be helmets, uh, we have bactas and stuff like that, soon to be weaponry. Um, 212th, they got their hands slowly on weaponry and vehicles mostly. Not so much armor. I'm not going to dog them too much on their armor. It's just not my taste. And it fits just their um, joint operations needs. File first seems to be more on the terrain side of things. Um, fixing the mistakes from swap. So there's definitely strength in numbers. You know, undeniably. I, I think I... that's why you and I and everyone else came together. is because we were all very small unit based and i've never been in the big units i don't know about yourself but bringing all that together while still having our own separate you know ideals on how to run things i think made us all not only tighter as a little community here but uh you know we're we're putting out stuff that you know is more global i think it's not just the color blue like we have everything under the sun you know so what's your take on that? I know it's a big, big from A, you know, A to Z on that one, but. 
Well, I mean, I've been in multiple units, like you're saying. I've been in like the 212, the 21st, both iterations. Uh, not the third one yet, though. But, um, but yeah, I've been big units, small units, medium-sized units. I've been in under in sun as well. And I mean, usually, like what you were saying with you know combining things and coming together about it, you kind of just have to find the right mix of stuff. Things work really well over somewhere else, like group punishment sometimes can work pretty well, but on a dev team, it's not going to work at all. Uh, so you need to find the best stuff for each, for each kind of experience you've had and bring it together, uh, which is always great because you can have multiple different people from multiple different areas where different things work with different people, and you can apply different things to different people. Definitely. You know, usually on a mod team for this, we're going to have a ton of texturers. Um, but we have a good bit of people who are learning how to model, code, you know, everything in between, and not only people like myself um, when it comes to the whole, you know, really pushing for as much media exposure as possible. Um, I try not to look too, you know, deep into it, but there could be a lot more, you know, when it comes to exposure for Star Wars Legion Studios. You know, I'm only one man, so I'm sorry that I can only go so far. <laughs> but it's true, you know, when Swap was, you know, starting up and becoming a big thing, you had articles written on websites and whatnot, and, you know, I think there's a big difference between the person who did it first and the person who did it best. I'm not saying we're doing it the best because we have all the, you know, droids, we have Mandalorians, all that, all that, you know, the whole nine yards. But I'm saying that the way how they did it was they were the first ones to do it. And I think the way Sarge Legion Studios wants to do it is more um, team-based, professional, going forward try to get create something that uh it works i think that's the, the key word i want to use here is that all oh, that's nice what swap has um but this is going to work without having so many dependencies you know fixes errors bugs all that and um, i think it definitely shows within the size of this team but it also has the disadvantages i guess you could say um when not everyone's on the same page, so. For the you know for the when you're thing when you're saying like different pieces and things for the mod, um, I think as of right now plan is, and I mean, this this might not be you know the actual plan. I haven't really been updated recently. Right, right there, but, um. Overall, what the big plan is overall is for sorry I said overall in the same sentence. That's um, right. Everything uh, is we have their mod that we're going to have all the base stuff in. So that's going to be like your basic clone troopers, extra stuff like uh, the um, the clone trooper phase two stuff, the hazard trooper, uh, the airborne, arc, arf, arc, basic run of the mill stuff, as well as, you know, some like some basic weapons like the DC 15, the short one. I think it is now instead of the regular DC 15S. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, you're talking about the carbine, the right? Disney retconning. That's the, um, yeah, the carbine. Um, we're going to have that in the mod and it's going to be all condensed. So we're going to have a mod that you can you can play with it. It's just one mod. You don't need any maps or any of the, you don't need weapons, vehicles. You just want like basic clone troopers. So you can go kill some droids. Mm -hmm. All right. I have to uh, play devils. Gonna... I know you can continue real quick. You there? Hello? Yeah, you were just cutting out yeah, for okay. a second. Yeah. Um, Sorry about that. No, if you want to finish your train of thought first before I went on. No, no, no. So I was saying, because I have to play devil's advocate here, the big question is, and you get this so much, is when? when how do you respond to that usually respond soon because we're not going to constrict ourselves with the time date uh only to disappoint people later on um 
because that's not the right thing to do. I mean, if we have stuff that we need to finish, release an update. If we have stuff we want to finish and we have to finish because we know it's going to make the mod 10 times better, we're going to finish it. It's going to come up like, it's not, I'm not going to say like, oh yeah, it's going to be on Christmas. Sitting, then we have people sitting there on Christmas waiting for the update that they've been waiting for for like a month and a half because it's adding certain stuff they want and it's not there. You're trying to avoid, you know, everything on a set time scale. Like, yeah, sure, we're going to have a time frame for stuff. We'll say like holiday season or something maybe or near the holiday season. But you also, you also have to remember, I apologize if you can hear the clock in the background. No, that's all right. You also have to remember, like, there are bugs. We need to fix bugs before they come out so it's not a buggy pile of trash. Otherwise, we're not doing our job correctly and we're giving you guys a horrible product that's not going to work on servers. So we need to make sure everything's ironed out, everything's perfect. And then when the update comes, if there's still stuff after that, at least you guys know we've tried our hardest to iron out all the bugs we can find in that time period, so. Respectful there. So you heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. The official Star Wars Legion weaponry is coming soon. Trademark. You gotta trademark that. You guys think, but... <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. That's, that's all later. I'm gonna say on it, though. That's all I'm gonna yeah. say. I can't say any else. Otherwise, Corvus is gonna fucking rip my head off. Yeah, right. <laughs> rip everyone's head off. Even uh, worse is Clock. Cause... I think he's really stuff on it, though. I think there's a stream on it. I don't know if it actually no, came out. It's that it is in beta testing phase on mm -hmm. the day of us recording but that's all i'm gonna say. that's all i'm saying yeah and that's something that we do need is that i will say without a doubt you have to have beta testing and not to just continue more on the dog on swap train because you know i think by now we've heard it all and there's only so much you know screaming at the wall you can do but I think personally, you need to have someone beta test who is going to tear your mod apart. And uh, not saying I'm that guy, but if you put it in the mod and you're having a beta tester, you got to have someone who's going to just rip it apart and do just the most ridiculous of things. Like he's going to be taking it to places it never should have been. You know, for instance, you know, how does this mod's weaponry. Um, damage modifier do on enemies that aren't in our mod you know could it still be playable versus you know other mods um hitboxes you know how is it doing uh first person doesn't work third person doesn't work are there any like weird reloading animation glitches errors sound errors whole nine yards there and uh to pretty much recap on that you want to have someone who's going to basically report back to you and be like, yeah, I, I broke your mod. And you you want to be kind of amazed at that almost at some point and be like, all right, well, for that one instance, now we can say we have a fix for it, you know? Yeah, and, like, the biggest part, though, is, like, don't know who the beta testers are. We like keeping it that way, in all honesty, because it keeps yeah, people from... Ooh, spooky, spooky. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean... If you do get approached by someone about being it, tell people, because as of right now, we have like six of them that are pretty close to the team, and we don't like having people know who they are. Mm -hmm. All right? Like, if you do go around telling people who you are, not really gonna, you know, if we're not gonna invite you back, and we're probably gonna kick you from the Discord. Discord, I should say. And, you know, kind of keep you... To, it's a, it's a Discord. <laughs> I don't care. It, it, it's, it's not, I'm, not, I'm not handing out the Yeah, invite. you're not handing out the invite link. <laughs> no, there's definitely, either way, everything's secured on there anyway. So yeah, even if yeah. you did manage to find a way in, you can't do anything without tags. Um, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's a Discord link. You'll get, I mean, it'll either be associated with a, or accompanied by, a, hey, you've been selected to be part of our test team. Or, hey, we kind of like you as a person. Mm -hmm. You know, you're pretty chill. And we like to keep it or not like, cringy also with our uh, yeah, no, otherwise, invitations. We like to be very be a... you know, forward to say, hey, you know, try this out. Not, you have been formally 
honorably yeah. invited to the cordial wedding of Star's Legion weaponry. All right. Where we'll be testing time... out the DC-15 Combine versus 30 million X, Y, and Zs. Can't say what they're testing them out on, of course, but... You know. You'll usually just get... 90% of the time, what you get is you get a link. Or someone just send, some sends you a link says, you know, we like who you are and want to, want to do this test. And it depends who sends you the link because you might get a little something after. You know. well, it entirely depends on who sent you the link and who actually is inviting you to the Discord team. Yeah. Or the testing team, not Discord team. So let's take a step back here from all this now talk of Star Wars Legion Studios. Because I think what happening now is pretty interesting. But I like to take a look back and say well, what brought us to this place. Uh, Corvus and I talked heavily before about old swap, old star sim, and how everything, you know, brought us to right now. Excuse me, I was like burping or something. But uh, instantly, instantly banned. <laughs> There's that joke. <laughs> yeah, instantly banned. But uh, One thing, the one thing, all right, I know exactly where you're going with this. Yeah. I'll tell you where it all began about something like it was almost a year ago all right mm -hmm. it was almost a year ago next month it will be a year ago all right mm -hmm. pay 60 bucks for armor oh. that is the entire thing yeah that's where that's where it all started i exact, you know yeah that is that is the bare minimum line that's why we started yeah i don't that's why me and corvus got together one day mm-hmm Corvus came to me. I had no idea who he was. He just saw me on the swap discord once in a while, I guess. Said, hey, do you want to make a mod? It was something along the lines of, hey, I've got a mod, and I want someone else to be in it with me. Right, man, I might as well. Teach me how to do this stuff, and I'd be happy to. Mm -hmm. Say, so we'll get it figured out somehow. Yeah. I think it was, it was literally the process of recruitment was Corvus, me, Rasputin. Mm-hmm. Rasputin back in you know two twelfth days and all that, and then after that was Scarecrow. Yeah, we don't talk about him anymore. I don't so. think people truly understand how different. I know there's a lot of new people to Stars and whatnot. Um, I definitely say the summer is always a big point when people hop on. Um, it wasn't that big this summer though, notable to last summer. I it was personally accredit that to not being on the workshop, but of course there's many other factors like units and you know people already there and it's only going to grow so much but uh i think when we talk about old old swap and i don't want to put valmoric on the spot here but uh i was in the 187th you know shout out to the purple boys uh when i first joined with eagle you know him of course uh another meme machine we'll have to have on here one day and <laughs> the man the myth legend all the memes and uh and the good, buddy of mine. Too. good buddy of mine he's great and uh per year so the 187th didn't have um an airborne helmet and the 187th was more known for being a airborne assault uh legion in you know star wars lore you know i'm a big fan of creating my own lore but that's just what we were going for at the time more staying within the lines of uh, Clone Wars, we love that before whole, you know, everyone trashed Disney era and whatnot. So that's why I believe in creating my own lore with the whole ISR thing. But I'm just making it fit somewhere in the timeline. But uh, to go back, I digress, as I say famously. But I go back to uh, Von Mork and I say, hey, um, we need a purple airborne helmet. And it, it becomes like almost a, um, like a bill of sale almost or a, uh, like an invoice, I guess you could say. Of like, all right, it's gonna cost this much, and it's like, yo, dude, I just want the color purple, you know? Like, I just wanted, yeah. I just wanted this helmet that was you got for the two twelfth or whoever five hundred first. I just wanted that in purple, you know? It wasn't that big of a deal. And uh, I there there's the foundations of why we do what we do is because if there is a color for the palette, if there is a need or a unit, we can do it like that and push it out, and it'll be, you know. It'll be out there for people to use. Um, and so I know definitely with the mod being more stable now for swap, as hard as it is for people to believe, it actually is more stable now, but old swap 
had a lot of long-term longevity errors to it. Um, so I, you know, I think that's the big change in how the two play styles were and things were. Um, how would you say from old swap models, trying to get that all figured out to right now, how that's gone? Old swap, you didn't even have the right chest plate for clones. You actually had the stormtrooper chest plate. Um, that was a big thing people noticed right off the bat. But um, I mean, no real customization aside from like the two twelfth and the two twelfth, one o fourth, and five o first. Like everything was like, it was run of the mill stuff. Like mm -hmm. you didn't have shock troopers. You didn't have like you know, it's like you didn't have the twenty first. You had nothing really yeah, in the way of customization no galactic marines so yeah galactic marines took the longest time to come out mm -hmm. like it was like when a whole unit of about 50 plus people manages mm -hmm. to be created and the mod still hasn't released an essential model for them it's kind of um i guess but uh overall just stuff is it's in it's improved tenfold all right like we have stuff that we it's actually playable at this point all right mm -hmm. it before you would crash after your game would be so laggy after like Maybe half an hour yeah. to an hour of gameplay and, and you had to relog or you had to restart the server yeah i think we all said it was like a memory leakage problem um you know there was something in the mod that just kept sucking up more and more ram I mean, still thankfully not it was fixed now, but no, it's yeah. it plays it plays better now. RHS. I'll say that. Oh yeah, no, it plays um, ten times better. It doesn't play as good as RHS, but I still always say pretty from good. a mechanic standpoint, this is something that I sound like a broken record, but I will just continue to say it because I love saying it. I think from a mechanic standpoint of how uniforms and vests were handled, I would love to see that transferred over. With you have. Your entire uniform, top to bottom. There's no weird black chest or anything. Top to bottom, you are your clone. And then, depending on your rank or your specialization, I should say, that's when the vest comes into play. Um, that's just you know my two cents on that one. Um, yeah. The um the, I mean I, I kind of understood what you. I just had something come up in head dev chat, but uh, so right. something's gonna change very quickly here, and I think you guys might like it. Uh -oh. um, Breaking news. Yeah, I'm kind of Breaking news. We have a new mod. <laughs> I mean, what? No, we don't. Yeah. Wait, uh, what? <laughs> huh? We got to bleep that. Yeah, we just bleep that up. And quick. we've just we'll released blank. <laughs> to all the and, uh, viewers here. <laughs> to all the viewers who yeah. actually care enough about the mod to watch the podcast. Yeah. The Volts fans. Uh, or Rivals fans, sorry. It doesn't uh, matter. <laughs> What I got was, um, you know, like vests and stuff, which mm -hmm. we're going to be really, we're going to be doing it a little bit different than swap is because we don't like how it's kind of built right now. So we're going to have a pauldron for each, for each unit, a vest for each unit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are I'm you not. saying so like the, like old swap, how it was the full uniform top to bottom compared to now where it's, you have that black, you know, area that's missing um, whenever you just have the uniform without the vest for it. Actually, essentially making um, two you know different items is we're having one we're having two pieces right now okay mm -hmm. and i can't really say about this because the stuff that we're doing right now there might be a little bit of problem with it so we might have to fix it mm -hmm. but what's happening with our stuff right now is we're having the helmet the the fatigues all right mm -hmm. the fatigues are entirely one piece all right one piece that's all it is mm -hmm. Legs, helmet, chest, or not helmet, uh -huh. legs, chest plate, boots, you know, everything. Mm -hmm. And then what we're doing after that is, I don't know where to put it yet, but I know that the chest plate will be invisible. Uh, so you get extra, extra carrying capacity. You're not going to miss out on that. You will have, um, for different slots, you will have comma, a pauldron comma combo for your unit. Like, you know, range finders, that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And those will be in night vision. 
because let's be honest, no one really uses the pauldron comma all that kind of stuff if it's going to be in the night vision slot because they want a, a clone night vision slot. So, mm -hmm. um, not sure about what we're doing with the chest plate. We might actually move it over to the chest plate uh, instead. The pauldron and comma are going to be on the chest plate instead. That might not. We're not entirely sure just yet because it'll actually give us the ability to add extra armor to you. Which is, you know, what they actually did add, so there's always that. Nice. But yeah. And, you know, for more advanced models like, you know, the um the Galactic Marines and stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, let's be honest, I'm not even spoiling anything at this point. You guys know we're making a bunch of the, the lore stuff, so... There's no point in me being all hush hush about it at this point. I'm not going to say all the stuff we're making. Marines. I'm pretty sure the uh, universal opinion at this point is we're going to be setting up um, a piece, really, where it's for, you know, and you have the chest plate and the body. So it's not like swap where you have the entire one piece thing in your uniform. Mm -hmm. And you can throw on a Spartan helmet underneath. I think the mod's definitely very ambitious. And the only thing that's really holding us back being our number one enemy, it isn't the file first. It's not Swap or Scar. It's not 212. It's not Bohemian Interactive. It's Clocks Internet. <laughs> I okay. think, uh, right. I think that's the right only right thing I'm holding right. us back right now. I mean, I'm not saying you're not right, <laughs> but I'm not saying you're not wrong. If that makes sense. <laughs> so we need to get the funding that we don't have, because we're not legally allowed to have. We're the worst business ever, I'll say that. We're the hardest working people. Yeah, yeah no, we're, we're, we're one the of hardest, the hardest working, hardest working group. group you'll ever meet, you know, that stresses each other out, you know. But and yet, we get no money for it whatsoever. You know? I think the old yeah, joke Yeah, no, we're doing was, this all in the uh, kindness of our hearts. I think the old joke was, buy a brother a pizza, and it's like, I love Domino's, but I still, like, would not accept it because I don't want to get, you know, slapped by Mickey Mouse's glove, you know. And, uh, Except any forms of money, any forms of donation, even. Like, we're going to you know. have to band together to get Clock over here so he can witness true fiber wire. He can get that uh, as, fiber. I mean, so. As of right now, I can for certain say that, you know, Big Daddy Clock is, I mean, just no, I didn't say that. Uh, Clock no. is um, <laughs> the back in, he's back in production. So we're, you know, whipping him as hard as we can now. So yeah. <laughs> poor Clock. I just, I just really feel for him. Um, yeah. You know. No, we love we love Clock. We yeah. the mod wouldn't be anything without him, to be honest. Mm -hmm. He does ninety percent of our stuff. Um, yeah, he's the coder. That's the thing, and yeah. that's you know, for Clock. He's the reason the mod is on a workshop if, and if actually Clock's, able to be know, played with. Listening to this somehow, even though he shouldn't be, he should I mean, be working your dick, right now. Like, you know, he yeah. should be hard at work. Why are, you, but... why are you listening to us right now, man? Yeah. Back to work. But uh, when his. Uh, unit the 722nd with Shadow when they kind of disbanded and went to modern day um, I think that honestly was like my biggest fear was like well shoot there goes everything like we're gonna have to we're gonna have to find a new coder somehow because I the way Arbo works is you have to really devote yourself to one coder at a time unlike other games that you can mod for instance, I love modding Hearts of Iron with the Fallout guys, the Old World Blues guys. Um, and multiple people can code work on that at the same time. But the Arma does not make it easy for a Clock or anybody. So props off to him and anybody else in between. You know, even even Swap, give them props off for getting everything just to work. Um, I love the Warhammer mod people too. They're big help. So mod guys are pretty cool i know i know one of the guys on the team he's he's pretty chill mm -hmm. but um i can tell you for one thing though that production will speed up all right i'm not saying when <laughs> soon trademark <laughs> soon nothing more mm -hmm. but it will speed up because we are working on getting another coder in here and how to code the mod so that clock can work on other things mm -hmm. and we can make him work even harder on more stuff that he doesn't need to work on and we're not saying his name because then you'll try to steal him or poach him Wink, wink, I mean, wink, wink. I can say his name. I just don't want to say his name because oh. I kind of forget it. Oh. No, I'm kidding. I don't forget it. No, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> we but don't no, even um, have a second. Yeah, we're gonna. Have... <laughs> it was just a joke. Thing we're cloning clock. We're cloning yeah. clock. That's why we're cloning clocks clock. And... Yeah, we're That's making more clocks. clocks. And the fucking <laughs> in the dev team channel right now. Um... 
we're, we're going to start dedicating coders specifically to certain things. Like, mm -hmm. you know, for weapons, we're going to have a coder. For armor, we're going to have a coder. Mm -hmm. For, you know, base, we're going to have a coder in case we add more stuff. Mm -hmm. That kind of stuff. Definitely very ambitious. Uh, we got... What did we confirm so far? We got... And I'm not going to say the crazy, like, Star Wars Legion, Whip, or Star Wars Legion, like, all that. I'm just going to say, uh, like, weaponry, well, for you guys. armory, uh, base. I don't know if we're just calling it base. Uh, Old Republic. Uh, I don't I don't know if the items goes under base or not, but... Wait, that? Huh? Republic? Yeah, we announced Old Republic. There's, oh, a, shit, there's an that. image. Yeah, there's an image for it somewhere. The nonsense right now. It's uh yeah, it's armory, weaponry, maps, placeables, mm -hmm. for so like stuff like special stuff. Yeah, um job base, of the hut. Yeah, like that <laughs> kind of stuff, yeah. Like uh, objects in the game. Yeah. So vehicles, uh high definition. That is way down the line in case any that, of you guys want to be Yeah, that's you know, <laughs> any of you guys want to use like, you know, a super beefy like you know a, like four sky lakes at the same time. Also have old like public. all the way down the line there with the high definition. Yeah, we'll kill Older. Arma at that point. Like Arma will be pushed to its limit at that, that point. That might that might be Arma four. So, yeah, yeah. but yeah, Old Republic is definitely going to be nice because we. I will say, say this. All right, I mm -hmm. know I'm saying a lot at this point, but we do have kind person specifically who we may have working on some other stuff right now but we have one person focusing specifically on the old republic all right and they're Don't my favorite care about person getting in... oh yeah no he's awesome dude. it's not me but i'll say they are my favorite person right now can tell you one thing right now that to try to punch me in the face after saying it corvus is at least we are releasing um one set of armor i can tell you guys about i'm sorry i'm talking in circles right now holy shit that's all right one set of armor that i can tell you guys about us releasing is if any of you have seen the um star wars like the uh the awakened like the you know the the, prom the promotion material for um are releasing the havoc squad armor all right mm -hmm. and we're going to be releasing a few other weapons associated with that I can't, i'm not going to say anything else about any other armors or vehicles or you know mm -hmm. maps stuff we're going to be releasing those because it's it's going to be fun for that kind of stuff so to cut off a little a little bit from the legion studios to talk uh, Cause I like to spice things up in between, give us a little break, constantly talking about you know what we're working on. Um, why do you think Imperials flopped in uh, in this whole Star Sim thing? Like, why do you think it never took off and never, you know, I got Mercs working, but even then it like played a toll on me, and I'm I said personally that I don't want to really come back to Star Sim for a while. Um, not in the manner that I was really into it and involved. Now I'm more just like behind the scenes, you know, saying here's what worked, here's what didn't work and what I've noticed, and here's what will get you burned out real quickly. Uh, why do you think there was never a big push for uh, Rebel Alliance, um, you know, Imperials, any of those types of units or groups that played together? Honestly, it's because people... I mean, in my opinion, people really don't want to play those, you know, eras. Mm -hmm. Clone Wars, most people here grew up with the Clone Wars. Like, mm -hmm. we had the Clone Wars TV show. We had, you know, the movies, you know, because we're all... Um, well, most of us, and of course, is like the only one above 19, I think, on the dev team. I'm so. funny. Old, old, the old man bolt. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's the crazy thing, though, is that Arma... I guess that's where there's a lot of criticism in Star Sims. There's a lot of children, a lot of kids. Yeah. Whereas lot of in Milsim, it's yes, sir, no, sir, you know, very much. It's basically the military, but in a video game. You yeah. know? And you can, you can get the same experience in Star Sim, depending which unit you are, you know, playing with or what people you play with, I should say. But um, 
I'm surprised having, you know, that older fan base that would cling on more to, you know, episodes four, five, six, and all that. I'm surprised, you know, they haven't made as much of a shift. Uh, really, the only ones that we can name is Arkins. Um, and even then, like, he had to adapt and mostly do clones in order for him to still do the Imperials and justify it in a way where people will get, you know, intrigued when they do something different from, you know, the clones. I mean, I'm going to be honest, if this mod came out, maybe, like, if Arma 3 was a thing and the mod was a thing before, like, Episode 2 came out, like, back in, like, 2005 or something like that, you know, around the entirety of, you know, Star Wars, like, the Clone Wars and stuff, and people were so enthralled with it, then, oh, yeah, I almost guarantee you everything would be Imperial-sided, because mm -hmm. everyone, like, like, that was, you know, the thing back then. People didn't like the, the prequels, but, you know, people kind of warmed up to them, I guess, and... They like the idea of, you know, having gigantic all-out war. Mm -hmm. The other part of it is, um, you know, with the Imperial stuff, you really can't go head-to-head -head with an enemy. So pretty much the way I look at it is the Clone mm -hmm. Wars was World War II, all right? All right. World War II, all right? And then you see the Imperial era as kind of the modern era where you're dealing with more counter-terrorists. or It's more counter-terrorism than mm -hmm. anything else see so many units like the really big successful ones or the smaller ones even they're it's like they're not doing like counter-terrorist stuff they're not it, it's more just you know throwing people at a wall and until that wall breaks that's about yeah. it strikes or anything like that it's more just you know people are attacking and that's about it mm -hmm. i get the reference there. i know what you're going for yeah i think definitely since our main focus is um Clone Wars. I think when something like Old Republic or Imperials, um, you know, or First Order, if we ever do that, which there isn't, like that's almost non-existent with. Uh, There's. I've not seen. I've, I've done a there. few operations. Yeah, right. I've done like a few operations for fun as a First Order. That's about it. Yeah, I've maybe done three, you know, and I'm talking like January to like June. You know, like from the like point of me. them releasing, yeah, from like the point of them releasing the stuff, mm -hmm. I've done like two or three at most. Mm -hmm. Like, yo, let's just you know mess around with the first yeah, order I've done stuff. A lot more yeah. imperial stuff, because um, you know what I did was hop around eras, but um, and even then, my last, my last Star Wars op was, I, th I believe it was like uh, pre Jakku or post Jakku. Um, and that was the big, you know, blow off to my campaign and kind of like my send off of like, all right, I'm going to be done with Star Sim and whatnot. I've kind of played my tour of duty. I've kind of played it off of there. Um, but even then, it just felt like maybe because it's not as fleshed out or it's just not as like interesting to me compared to Clone Wars um, or the grander scheme of, I think definitely if there was more aliens and whatnot uh, i think you could have a lot more fun one thing I, that sticks out for me in particular i don't know if you've ever done this is uh back in the 21st the old 21st under uh, i was i was in the 21st yeah this was uh jobs and uh no name we'll just that was we'll the old 21st dude that was the that was well, the new one. i shouldn't say old one i should say old one for new swap not because there's old swap 21st and that's about it and then there's the the new swap old 21st shifting leaderships multiple times 21st that one yeah <laughs> and since then 21st hasn't recovered which is really sad it's a, it's a great looking unit great looking concept um i love my guido i love my snow maps but no with them i played a uh like a first order prison um i was and like i was an there imperial that was, prison you yeah. were there the best fun i've ever had great like it was great and i, th I think uh i don't want to be you know one of those people that just like like constantly praises and be like oh, i did this that was amazing but i think truly that in particular for arma it's kind of like when we were trying to do 
uh, Loki and I and a bunch of the ISR guys were trying to do Star Wars Life. Um, that was something that we had a lot of fun with, but I don't think I could see us playing it every single weekend, you know, like getting hyped for a new op, a new campaign. Um, I think that's one thing that you can do, enjoy and look back on, and you can't burn yourself out on that constantly. Um, so. Yeah. But we're going to be wrapping it up here, ladies and gentlemen. Smig, you want to tell them where you can find, uh, where the people can find you? Uh, still be less Discord. That's about it. You can find me in game on Store Tour sometimes. If you actually manage to find a, a tune of mine, I'd mm -hmm. be pretty impressed for one. I'd also be kind of worried. Yeah. Um, but Store Tour sometimes, a lot of time actually, as of late. Uh, starting up something over there. Um, I'm on, you know, the couple units, uh, both modern and old and, you know, old Star Wars stuff. And I'm also on a few other, you know, War Thunder I'm on. Uh, have fun finding me on there. I've got like three accounts. Um, every, you know, big game under the sun I'm on. You know, Battlefield, Star Wars, Call of Duty sometimes. All right. Well, that's going to do it here for us, ladies and gentlemen. And until next time, peace out. Thanks once again for being my guest, by the way, Smig. <laughs>